it's Michelle. Welcome to my channel, Grateful Creations. Well, do you remember this one? I hope you do. Um, it got a lot of views. Um, now, I have to show you this. I don't know if you can see that. That is a raccoon paw print. And there is another one. <laughs> so, um, that was from a little while back. I'm hoping that this raccoon thing is under control, but I doubt it. So in any case, it uh, looks like there's a little boo-boo there. So what I'm gonna do, I have all the colors that I used in this. I mixed them up. There was only two colors. I think there was a yellow too, but I, you don't really see the yellow. And then I also have a light body white paint, like right here. This is a heavy body titanium white. Jeez Louise, look what I just did. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Have some paper towels ready. Um, okay, and then um, this is um, Liquitex Matte Medium, and I'm gonna use that with these straight paints. I don't have any pouring medium in there whatsoever. And we're gonna go and fix this, this baby up. So first of all, I am going to do, 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 clean off the paw prints, hopefully. Yeah, I came right off, but I had to show you that. The struggle is real. Okay, so paw prints are gone, yay. And, uh, we try to get this off, but it looks like it's paint. I don't know how that happened. You know, things happen sometimes. So I'm just taking some of this soft body paint and I'm putting it right where the boo-boos are. And then I'm gonna take some heavy body paint to make sure I've got good coverage. Okay looking better already. You can always fix your paintings. I guess I'm the, the queen of boo-boos. <laughs> How is it I know all this stuff about fixing, right? Okay. So, we fix those boo-boos, that's good. I might come in and do that again. And I have a little bit of water here for my brushes. Um, now I have some brushes that I got on Amazon. Oh, you can't even see what it, they are anymore. Oh, here they are. They're fine detail brushes, Deco. And they come in quite a few of them. They're kind of pricey, but they're really good quality. Um, and then they, they, they're really nicely packaged. So, um, so that you can't get into them. And they all have this like, little tip here. Now you're supposed to uh, run them under water, let them dry, or yeah, all that good stuff. But in the um, interest of time, I'm not gonna do that. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start out with some of this dark color and then just go right in here. And then I'm gonna mix it up with, here we go. Let me wipe this, there we go. Then I'm going to mix, take some of this matte medium bring it out. Then I'm going to use my finger to blend. I'm putting some of that matte medium on my finger to blend. Not really worked with this matte medium, so this is all new to me. I like trying new things, you know me. So that's looking better already. Um, now, I am going to take 
the lighter color and mix that with the matte medium and then bring that in. And then blend with my finger. Now here's where the white comes in. So you wanna bring the white in as well and just blend with your finger. the water too to blend that a little bit better. Now I'm going to work on this part right here. See how it's all feathery? I'm gonna put a little bit of white on my brush. Now this brush is, oh, what kind of brush is this? I don't know. I'll find out for you guys. Oh, it's a, it's a 14. This is a number 14 brush. So I'm taking the white, the light body white, mixing it with the um, Liquitex matte professional matte medium and I'm just gonna that's even too much so we want oh, paper towel you want to be able to dry brush some of this stuff too so I'm taking I'm taking my um, brush taking the paint off of it and then just bringing it in now I'm going to take some of the lighter color back in with the light body white and just blend it up now you want to go back you want to to really get a good blend on it you want to do strokes this way and then strokes this way. So I'm using strokes both ways to get it really blended. Of course, you can always do circles like we do with our makeup to get that really good blend. Now I'm going to take, look how pretty that looks already, the deeper blue with the matte medium and put it up here. If you have a larger area, you can um, use the number 14 brush. And just blend, 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 blend. I'll get my water closer to here. Water on there. 
and extends the paint. Whoopsie. All right, I'm gonna put you guys on time lapse because you do not want to be watching me. Pretty much have told you everything you need to know. Oh, yeah, no, I haven't. So, the very fine brushes, where is it? Where's the one I just opened up? I think this is it. Is it? Yeah. So the very fine, fine brushes, uh, this one's better. You want to define your lines, if you want to define your lines. You just come in and just lightly define them with the dark. And then this whole painting will come to life. See, Sometimes when you have too much water or when you're having issues with your <laughs> artist loft white and you have this kind of thing going on, um, you can always fix them, you know? So um, this painting is gonna look superb after it is finished. And um, it's really relaxing. You know, just make yourself comfortable. I got my chair here. I never use my chair. and. Um, you can actually add some definition where it doesn't have it, like right here. Very fine tip. actually get some Payne's Gray out too to make it more defined but uh, I'm getting I'm really getting happy with this so far I'm going to bring this out a little bit more take my brush and dry brush it in You don't have to use the pouring medium. You can just use water with paint. That will work too. Um, but see how pretty this is gonna look after it's finished. I'm taking some more of the white, I'm just putting it along this edge here. And you wanna do your feathering and stuff before you do your um, um, detail work. It's gonna be a lot easier to get your detail work. And you don't wanna mess your detail work up when you're trying when you're trying to feather in your um like look how pretty that is. There we go. Alright. That's looking good. Alright, I'm gonna put you on time lapse. Let me know what you think. 
this is kind of my first attempt at something like this. And oops, sorry about the shadows. That's what happens when I have my lights on. I usually film with my lights off, but I kind of really like this. It was, it started to consume me. <laughs> And it turned out different than the original. I could feather this part right here, which looks kind of cool. I'm really sorry about the shadows. And it looks like the white I put down, I'm gonna have to touch that up a bit. But uh, yeah, brought some color into it. Anyhow, let me know what you think. It's better than the raccoon prints. Please be safe and create. Please like, share, and subscribe. And if you are interested in making any piece your own, please contact me at gcfluidart at gmail.com. Ciao for now.